Hey Lakers fans, welcome back to another episode of the Los Angeles Lakers News Squad, where we dive into the latest news, rumors, and analysis about our beloved Lakers. In today's video, we're talking about a fascinating moment between LeBron James and his son, Bronny James, during a pickup game. That's right, LeBron didn't hold back on Bronny, and there was even some trash talk exchanged on the court. We'll break down what this means for LeBron's competitive mindset and Bronny's bright future. As always, make sure to stick around until the end, drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Lakers content. LeBron James, even as he approaches 40 years old, remains one of the most competitive players in the league. The story of him going up against Bronny in a pickup game and not holding back tells us a lot about his mentality and what he expects from his son, who is preparing for his own NBA journey. What really stood out was that LeBron treated Bronny like any other opponent, even hitting him with a signature, you can't mess with me, after a tough move to the basket. This behavior from LeBron shows that no matter the setting, his winning mentality never wavers. And for Bronny, there's no better lesson than seeing that kind of drive firsthand. LeBron's NBA career has always been about striving for greatness and overcoming challenges, and it's clear he wants Bronny to adopt that same mindset. Let's talk more about Bronny James. It's important to remember that while he's carrying the weight of being LeBron's son, he also has his own set of expectations and undeniable talent. Although LeBron was a dominant force right from the start, Bronny is carving out his own path and learning from the best. Competing against his father in these pickup games is an invaluable part of his development. LeBron, as always, is focused on building a legacy, not just for himself, but also for Bronny. These moments are part of a bigger picture where LeBron is preparing his son for the pressures and challenges of the NBA. LeBron had to deal with a lot of doubt and criticism throughout his career, and Bronny will need that same mental toughness to navigate the inevitable comparisons and high expectations. As for the future of the Lakers, LeBron's competitive fire should inspire the entire team. He's still the leader of this squad, and even though his time as the Lakers' top player is coming to a close, his influence on the team and on Bronny will be key in the seasons to come. To wrap things up, this moment between LeBron and Bronny isn't just about a casual pickup game. It's about passing the torch. LeBron is shaping the future, not only of the Lakers, but also of his family. And this relentless drive is, uh, yeah, is what has kept him at the top for so long. As we watch Bronny prepare to take his first steps in the NBA, we can be confident that he has the tools and the support to succeed, just like his father did. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the dynamic between LeBron and Bronny? Do you think Bronny is ready to handle the pressure of being the son of one of the greatest players of all time? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's discuss. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the Los Angeles Lakers News Squad, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on your Lakers. See you in the next one. LeBron James shows his full support for Caitlin Clark. She has my support 100%. LeBron James is no stranger to the pressures of being a generational talent back in 2003 when he was selected number one overall in the NBA draft. The expectations were sky high. From gracing the cover of Sports Illustrated as a high schooler to his games being televised on ESPN, all eyes were on him even before he turned pro. Fast forward 20 years and another once-in-a-lifetime player is making waves. Caitlin Clark, a star at Iowa, shattered records at the collegiate level and entered the WNBA with massive expectations, becoming the number one pick. She not only set the Division I all-time scoring record, but also brought in record-breaking TV ratings. And just like LeBron, Clark has faced immense scrutiny, with people questioning whether she could handle the pressures of the pro league. LeBron has been vocal about his respect and admiration for Caitlin's journey, as he understands exactly what she's going through. Speaking with Esquire's Brian O'Keefe, LeBron opened up about why he's been such a strong supporter of Clark's career from the very start. I have a great deal of respect for Caitlin Clark because I know exactly what it means to be drafted, be the face of a franchise, and also get the scrutiny from a lot of people who don't believe you're ready for the next jump, don't believe you're ready for the big leagues, and just don't think that you belong, LeBron said. 
I remember when I came into the league at 18, how many people doubted me and hoped I would fail. LeBron went on to explain why he's been cheering Clark on. Me watching Caitlyn and seeing what she's doing, I've been in support of her um, since day one because I remember going through that. She has my support 100%. She's a transcendent player, and we all saw that at Iowa. I knew it would translate to the big leagues. She's an unbelievable talent. Ah, it's great to watch. In her rookie season, Clark proved why she was the number one pick. She averaged 19.2 points, 5.7 rebounds, 8.4 assists, and 1.3 steals per game, leading the Indiana Fever to a playoff appearance. She was also named WNBA Rookie of the Year and became the first rookie in league history to record a triple-double, and she did it twice. Though the Fever fell to the Connecticut Sun in the first round of the playoffs, Clark's rookie campaign made it clear that she's just getting started. Reflecting on her first year, she told ESPN's Andrea Adelson, The fun part is I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. I'm always nitpicking every single thing I do. I want to help this franchise get even better, help my teammates improve, and I know there's a lot of room for me to grow. With her drive and determination, Caitlin Clark's future is bright, and LeBron's unwavering support only adds to the excitement surrounding her career. Like LeBron in the early 2000s, Caitlin is on the verge of greatness, and it's going to be amazing to see where her journey takes her next. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button to, to stay updated with all the latest Lakers news and more. And let me know in the comments what you think about LeBron's support for Caitlin Clark and her incredible rookie season in the WNBA. Welcome back to Lakers News Squad, your go-to source for all things Lakers. Today, we're diving deep into some of the hottest topics surrounding the team right now. Much like the Miami Heat, the Los Angeles Lakers are navigating through an era with an aging superstar and a narrowing championship window. LeBron James, who will turn 40 by the end of this year, continues to defy time with his incredible performances. But let's face it, LeBron is no longer in his prime, and he's not considered the best player in the world anymore. That's just a fact we all need to accept. As much as we admire LeBron, the Lakers' front office hasn't built a championship-caliber roster around him. Yes, we've seen some decent additions, but when it comes to securing LeBron's fifth ring, the current roster simply doesn't look like enough. On top of that, there's a lot of buzz around the future of the Lakers, with Bronny James potentially entering the picture and the appointment of J.J. Redick as head coach. While these moves spark excitement, they also feel like risky decisions that could backfire unless the Lakers make some serious adjustments. Recently, an interesting idea was thrown out there in an article by Eddie Batar from Fade Away World. Batar suggested that the Lakers could target Tyler Harrow in a trade. The proposed deal would involve sending D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, and future first-round picks in 2029 and 2031 to the Miami Heat in exchange for Harrow. At first glance, it seems like a reasonable idea for the Lakers. Harrow, who's been a consistent 20-plus points per game scorer, would certainly bring some much-needed youth and shooting to the team. But what about the Heat? Is this trade beneficial for them? It's tough to say. The Heat would get Russell, Hachimura, and future draft picks. But let's be honest, this trade doesn't seem like a game-changer for Miami especially if they're still aiming to compete with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo for a championship right now. However, if the Heat are already looking toward life after Butler, keeping Harrow seems like a smarter move. Yes, his growth has stalled a bit over the past few seasons, but at just 23 years old, Harrow still has plenty of upside and could be a key piece for Miami's future. So is this a trade that the Lakers should pursue? Would Tyler Harrow be the missing piece we need to push? for another championship run. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think? Should the Lakers make a move for Harrow or focus on other options? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Lakers News Squad for more updates, analysis, and everything Lakers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to Lakers News Squad. Be sure to subscribe and stay with us as we continue to bring you the latest news, analysis, and insights on your favorite team. Go Lakers!